Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the episode of Miles of Truth, Ace Attorney Investigations. In the last episode, we figured out how the statue would be able to swing all the way across and just kind of how both weapons were switched. Um, and also, we found out that Quirkus Alba, the um, uh, ambassador of Alabast, um, was the mastermind behind the whole thing, but he is denying every single allegation, so um, we're gonna try and uh, get him to talk a little bit. Um, before he kicks us out. So, yeah, let's get going. March 15th, 2-11 a.m., Theater Neutralis Lobby. I can't believe it, sir! Intraterritoriality! Yes, and there is nothing we can really do about that. In the end, we didn't have enough authority to bring him to justice. I can't believe that even though we know he's the boss, we can't leave a finger on him! I know. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Sorry to skip out on you, but I've got some business to take care of. Okay. We can't even give an evil guy like him a slap on the wrist! Then what the heck were the laws created for? What good are they? If the law can't help us, then I'll go as the Adagarasu and take care of this myself! Don't you dare! Mr. Edgeworth! Sorry, that was a bit too harsh. I know how you feel, sir. We're trying to take on an ambassador, after all. And he did tell us earlier to get out of the theater. This is kind of their country, I guess. But I feel like I've been slapped across the face for just doing my job. What am I going to do? Should I retreat for now and formulate a better plan of attack? Come on, everyone! We can't give up yet! Okay. I want you to think about something for a sec. We never let up for even a second, and as long as we don't stop investigating, we might find the rotten treasure hidden here. Sh she's right! Come on, Mr. Edgeworth! You're right, Kay. Very well. Let us reopen the investigation and see what we find. Come on, Kay. Right behind ya! Okay, then I'll go check out Babal a little more, sir. And I have something that I need to investigate further in Alabast. So where do we go? Now then, before I gather any more information, I should do a bit of housekeeping. Ashen Flower's data erased from my organizer. Alright. Ambassador Alba seemed agitated over something. I wonder why? There are two special circumstances that surround the Ambassador. First, the Embassy itself has extraterritorial rights. If something happens on Alabastian soil, we are unable to legally prosecute him. Cool! Sounds like embassy embassies are the perfect place to see whatever you want! And Murder Damas II run a smuggling operation and make counterfeit bills, apparently. But I thought all the counterfeiting was done by Mr. Cochin and Babal? Yes, he apparently used the Embassy's coupon printing press to do it. But it's the same story over there anyway. Babal also has extraterritorial rights. Which brings me to my next point, the Ambassador's extraterritorial rights. Those rights are effective even in our own country. Really? No matter what happens, he can never be tried in our courts. He retains some very special rights indeed. Basically, no matter what wrongs he may commit, we can't bring him to trial here. So I guess we really don't stand a chance, do we? Hmm. We might stand a chance if we can somehow nullify either one of his special rights. Let's check what logic we have if we have more than those two. Okay, hold on. Renovations. This was taken just before the two ambassadors gave their bouquets to the Steel Samurai. Wait, is it just my imagination? Or is there something in this picture that I've seen before? I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I've seen this! It appears to be a bouquet of Persian cy cyclamens and roses. Wow, you even know the exact species? I never would have figured you for an expert of flowers. Yeah, It's all because of those flowers that old lady sends me every month. Just look at me. I sound some sort of- I sound like some sort of botanist. So, um, what exactly is this yellow flower here? Hmm, that one. I'm not sure. What? You don't know? 
As far as I can recall, I've never seen a flower like this before. But I feel as though I've seen this shape somewhere before. I've never seen this flower before, but I have seen this flower before. <laughs> Uh, is this the, uh, Alabastian? Yes, okay. Babal's national symbol is the butterfly, and Alabast's is the flower. It would appear that someone is employing the old hide-a-tree in the forest trick. What are you humbling to yourself about? Wait, what? The handle on this knife! Ah! Yes, it's the handle that was supposed to be on the blade that killed Mr. Cochin. The weapon that killed him was carried through the Theatrum Neutralis, in the very bouquet Ambassador Alba was carrying. Hmm? The flower motif. It looks like one of the flower petals is missing. Oh! And take a look at the weapon itself! It's missing the exact same petal! Then the knife in this photo is most definitely the same as this murder weapon. Ba -na 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 -na. Mr. Palaino has a really great smile, don't you think? I bet he was really happy that they were going to become Kadopia again. Perhaps. But instead, he became the greatest victim in today's case. An ambassador like him who is always thinking of his country is really should be admired. Yeah, although this happened, I hope they'll be able to reunite the country someday. I hope so as well, but for that to happen, we need to solve this case first. We need to see to it that those who could harm the new Kadopia are locked away. And we will! Hmm. These flowers were sent by Global Studios. Global Studios? That's where they filmed the Steel Samurai television show. They have been producing hit after hit recently, so the studio is being remodeled. Oh, I read about that in the papers the other day! That mascot of theirs is also getting a facelift too, right? Um, what was his name? You mean Mrs. Monkey? Yeah, I thought it was something like that. You really have a great memory. Ha! Huh. Never underestimate my powers of recollection. Never underestimate a Steel Samurai fanboy. Obviously. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Flowers were sent by a variety of people and businesses to celebrate the Goodwill event. Even the Steel Samurai received some flowers from the ambassadors. There are so many bouquets here, it's like a wedding ceremony. I believe the flowers for those are a slightly different reason. What do you mean? This event was supposed to be like a wedding between Alabast and Babal, right? Actually, I believe they're more in a state of divorce. Okay then, this event was supposed to be their remarriage ceremony. Hmm. I suppose you could call it that. It's a backdrop they used in the Steel Samurai stage show today. I love the climax of that show! Steel Samurai Sushi Slice! It was the first time I'd ever seen that special move. But, well, the Jim and Ninja stage show climax was much better, of course. Oh, was that a fact? That scene where he sang for Princess Misola and gave her those hair sticks? I could totally feel the love there in my heart! Hmm, perhaps the Jim and Ninja is just more popular with female audiences? You uncultured swine! <laughs> Oh, wait, this is just the- okay. You could see the Bobley's Embassy, which is undergoing major renovations. From room expansions to garden upkeep, it looks like a lot of construction is going on. Mr. Palaino said that this work- that all this work is really hard on him. He said that since Mr. Cochin passed away, that maybe I could work part-time for him. She got really chummy with that ambassador. What can I say? I just have a good nose for money. We know that the counterfeit bills were printed using the embassy's press, but the necessary materials, such as the bobbly zinc and paper, must have been hidden in a secure location. What do you think would have happened if the renovation had begun? Well, he probably had to find a better hiding place or get rid of it all. 
Right, so we can assume that the renovation was the cause of the plate in Bill's disposal, and the reason Mr. Cochin was killed as the ringleader of the smuggling operation. Based on what we know, who do you think was the one with the most to gain? Um... It's the one person who has been erasing all evidence of the smuggling operation. From both embassies, the co-conspirator who is mopping up, Ambassador Alba. Ambassador Alba had a very strong motive to kill Manny Cochin. The cause of Ambassador Alba's agitation, the rotten treasure we may find, and the motive for killing Mr. Cochin. Miss Yu said it herself that she didn't kill anyone tonight. If we were to take her words at face value, then the reason for that ambassador's nervousness can only mean one thing. He didn't want us to discover the real circumstances under with mi which Mr. Cochin was killed. Then you mean Ambassador Alba is the real killer? But I thought the two of them were friends. Maybe they were, but what if Mr. Cochin was the one who first betrayed their friendship? Oh, I get it! Wasn't Mr. Cochin pushing really hard for Mr. Palaino to be ambassador after the reunification? Yes, and that was the real reason why he wanted to steal Alabas Primaduk statue. So Mr. Cochin hired Damas II to go steal it for him. But when Ambassador Alba found out what he was up to, he killed Mr. Cochin? It is definitely a possibility at this point. Those two really were thinking of no one but themselves. But the question now is, how did he do it? Ambassador Alba was in Alabast. But Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? Right. And that is what we must solve next. I believe we now understand why Ambassador Alba was so nervous and agitated. It must have something to do with, with, with where Mr. Cochin was killed. A place where the Alabasian ambassador was likely to meet with the Babalese Mr. Cochin. The place where Ambassador Alba happened to have committed the murder is... Probably the Theater Neutralis. The only place that makes sense is here, at the Theater Neutralis. What? Here? The Goodwill event was being held here today, correct? So the only place that the both of them would have been in is here. But if that's the case, then everything changes. This theater isn't exactly Alabastian land, so that wipes out one of those extraterritorial rights he has! It makes logical sense, in which case it is a reason for us to investigate further. So what should we check out? Let's see... I believe we should check the immigration records for both Alabast and Babal post-haste! Babal's record should be easy to obtain, however the problem will be Alabast. I wonder if they would allow us to see their records despite the order to vacate. Ah, there she is. I'm already one step ahead of you, Miles Edgeworth. Francisca. I have here the security footage from both Alabast and Babal. You would do well to take a look at its contents. You move fast. Avant Karma strives to be perfect in every way. It's not in my nature to keep on retreating like this. I took the liberty of looking over the Babal investigation reports as well. From now on, you will make no excuse to back down or say that we can't solve this case. Hmm, I'm sorry about earlier. We won't be beaten. Because my cute little subordinate is going to try his very best, isn't he? Hasn't she patronized me enough already for a lifetime? So this video footage contains... So this video contains footage from Alabas Immigration Screening Area. I really hope there's something in here that we can use. Okay. Which minute's footage should I examine? Uh... Doesn't something about this lump shape strike you as odd? Huh? Isn't it supposed to be this shape? No, there was clearly something odd about this bulge. If only we had the push card itself, we could compare my... We could compare and confirm my hunch. Next, let us check Babal's footage from Babal's security camera. I hope it shows us something good. Ooh, there wasn't a single sign of a suspicious person or anything. That right there is the contradiction. Huh? 
Did I miss something? You didn't miss anything, because there was nothing to miss. However, what is missing is the image of Mr. Cochin entering his own country. But wasn't his body found on the ball? It would appear that the true face of our final puzzle has finally revealed itself. Oh, hold on. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. Ambassador Alba! I thought I had asked you for you and your group to vacate the premises, Mr. Edgeworth. Actually, I thought I should let you know that this theater sits on my country's soil. You've had your fun, and I've enjoyed our little game. I dare say that you've even achieved a new high score. However, once you've recorded a score, that same game can never be replayed again. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Your game is done, and it's game over. No! Objection. Where do you think you're going at this time of night? After admitting to my crime, I was overcome with regret. So I am heading to the airport now to return home. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. There are still too many issues we need to discuss with you. You can't stop me, Mr. Edgeworth, and you know it. Ugh. Please, may I have a little bit of your time, Ambassador Alba? Ambassador Palaino? Even just a teeny teeny bit, teeny tiny bit is fine with me. The already strained relationship between our countries is in a precarious situation, you know? Very well. If you insist, I will play just one more round with them and see what they want. Not that they'll get any farther. Ambassador Palaino! Mr. Edgeworth! All I wish is for the normalization of relationships between our two countries! But there is one person standing in the way of that dream. I... I believe in you. You'll do what's right. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Now then, what was it you wished to ask me about? I do have a flight to catch after all, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to limit you to just one question. That's more than enough, because I only have one question anyway. I want to hear your alibi about how you couldn't have killed Mr. Manny Cochin. Ho! Oh. I see. You seem to have a good hand this time around. This should be fun. This really is the very last chance we have to bring him out- to bring him down. I won't allow even an atom-sized contradiction to slip by! Hmm... Frankly, I still don't understand why I'm being placed under suspicion here. Under your hypothetical scenario, Mr. Cochin and I were fellow smugglers. But to get to the point, I was in Alabas the whole time. So it's simply not possible for me to have killed him in the ball. That is my alibi. Shut your mouth. So that is your alibi? That is correct. It's simply not possible for me to have committed a crime in the ball. Now that we have cleared it up, I'd appreciate it if you could move out of my way. I said hold it! What is it this time? I thought I told you I'd only allow one question. Hm. <laughs> you did. But you still have yet to really answer my one question. What? Until you tell us the truth, I will refuse to budge an inch from where I'm standing. Hm. <laughs> Very well. I'll play with you just a little longer. Miles Edgeworth, as my subordinate and representative of this country's prosecutors. Hm. <laughs> You are forbidden to lose! Of course. That is something I've understood from the start. That guy's the one who ordered my father killed, isn't he? Yes, I believe so. The goal of the first Yadagarasu was the capture of the smuggling ring's leader. My father and Uncle Bad. Their legacy will live on through me! So that's why we've just got to catch him, okay? We will, I promise. Now, Ambassador Elba. Let's have out the truth now, shall we? <laughs> no matter how many times you ask, my answer remains the same. Shut up. Yes. It's not a hypothesis. Earlier we proved it to be what happened. <laughs> well, let's leave that to one side for now, because it doesn't change the fact that I have no motive. Oh? So you really had no reason to kill Mr. Cochin? If you want to suppose I had one, then why not? I'll indulge you. 
After all, this is nothing more than a silly game to me. Even if that's how you see things, I'd appreciate it if you could take me seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. I suppose you are in a bit of a pickle. Very well. A game is no fun if the playing field isn't level. Therefore, I formally claim that I had no motive to kill. Now let's see you disprove it. How can he stand there looking proud when he knows he killed another human being? Well, I'm not going to stand by and just watch him get away with his crimes. In that case, what motive would I have had to kill my co-conspirator? Do we have evidence of this? Not the security footage, the, um... Counterfeit... If you want to know, I believe you did have a motive to kill. It was because Mr. Cochin had betrayed you. But you had your own reason too. Namely, you wanted to pin the smuggling all on him. Evil begets evil, and because you were trying to test each other, it turned into this mess. I don't believe this. You have a bad penchant for telling tall tales, Mr. Prosecutor. And if you're not, then I suggest you have some sort of proof to support your argument. I never use guesswork in moving my cases forward. It has been proven that this note was written by Mr. Cochin's hand. Shall we take a look at it? The content of this note is a request calling for the theft of Alabas Primidoc statue. <laughs> by killing him and pushing all of the guilt for the smuggling onto him, you walk away spotless. I believe you understand what I'm driving at. You had more than a few reasons to kill him. Are you finished with your hypothesizing? Excuse me? Let's suppose I did have a motive. Even so, a motive or a thought alone can't kill. Isn't that right? I didn't expect him to resort to playing the semantics game with me. It appears that this is where the real battle will begin. Now then, if you will excuse me. Wait, what? I told you at the very beginning, didn't I? You only get one question. Ugh! Ambassador Alba, if you could please give us just a little bit more of your time. It doesn't matter what kind of man man he was, he was my subordinate. Which is why I would like for us to figure out the real cause of his death. That is something for Babal to figure out, and something to which I have no relation to. Ah! Now he's even turning down a request from Ambassador Palaeno. I'm very sorry, but it seems that now even my voice falls on deaf ears. There is no need for you to apologize, Ambassador Palaeno. We must find some way to stop him from leaving. It seems there are no further objections. In that case, please allow me to return home. Kay! Hold it right there, Ambassador Alba! K Kay! Like I said, Mr. Edgeworth, the Yadagaras' legacy will live on through me. Yes, but how do you suggest we stop him from leaving? You just leave that to me! Ambassador Alba, do you recognize this? No, and why should I recognize that tattered old organizer? Wait, where have I seen that before? That is a clue my father, Burn Faraday, left for us. Did you say Burn Faraday? Mr. Faraday's organizer? Don't tell me this is the one from the second KG-8 incident. The one in which he wrote about the Yatakarasu's key. <laughs> Yes. This organizer belonged to the prosecutor you had Miss Yu killed seven years ago. Hmm. I have no idea what you are talking about. You say that like it was related to me. Inside this organizer, he wrote up every detail of every evil thing you did. What an amusing little girl you are. But that sort of trickery won't look on me. If you won't believe me, then take a look at this. And what is that toy there? It's... This thievery device was used by the Yadagarasu, or rather, by my father. Seven years ago, he used this when he stuck it to the embassy. What? These two pieces of evidence that hold information the Yadagarasu, the Yadagarasu dug up on you. If you go home now, I won't hesitate to send it to all of Alabast, right behind you. Little girl, get to the point. 
I want you to go up against Mr. Edgeworth one more time. If you win, then I'll hand over these two pieces of evidence. Yachikurasu! Give the thorn in my side! Kay, does that organizer really contain any information on his dirty dealings? It's nothing case-breaking, really. Ah, then it was just a bluff. Even if it was, we still can't let all the info my father and Uncle Bad had go to waste. Plus, just the existence of the little thief is troublesome enough for him. Those two pieces. Aren't they keepsakes of your father? It's okay. I believe in Mr. Edgeworth. He'll come out on top in the end. Okay. When the going gets tough, someone's gotta be there to put the wind back in your sails. After all this time, you're still quite the feisty one. I applaud your powerful nature. <laughs> I refuse to lose this too. Ambassador Alba, we, you won't be returning home until you give us further testimony. How dare you all, bearing a person like me? Ambassador Alba, your testimony if you please. <sighs> all right, but this is the absolute last. Then, even if you use all of... Um, the power of Ambassador Palais in his office. You won't stop me. I can't let this opportunity Kay has created for me to go to waste. The last time I met with Mr. Cochin was here at the Theatrum Rutalis. After that, I was in Alabast the rest of the time, as I stated earlier. In any case, I did not see Mr. Cochin again after that. So you see, there is no time span in which I couldn't have killed in which I could have killed him. Wouldn't you agree? Now, since you people were practically baying, I'll allow you to question me. What an arrogant old man! Yes, but no matter. We can't allow this chance to escape us. I will warn you, though. You've reached the end of my patience. Waste my time with any inane questions and you will be punished. <clears throat> so any needless pressing or presenting will cost more to our case? In that case, the only thing you can do is present the correct evidence. Understood? Of course. I don't intend to let him intimidate me. I know Mr. Cochin was killed before he returned to Babal, in which case there was only one statement in which I need to present that evidence. Hmm. Um, after that I was in Alabas the rest of the time, as I stated earlier, in any case I did not see Mr. Cochin again after that. So you see there was no time span in which I could have killed him, wouldn't you agree? Hold on. Uh, hold on. It doesn't necessarily state a time frame, but the fact that the weapon is here... I mean... It could be. <laughs> okay, we're good. I'd like you to take a look at this picture. It's a rather nice picture, isn't it? It was to commemorate the restoration of relations between our nations. Oh, it's commemorative, all right. One that captures the proof that I need to show that it was you who committed the murder. Come again? This is the knife that killed Mr. Cochin. Ugh. I see you recognize it as well. As well you should, for it was you who brought it to this theater. You hid it among the flowers you were to give to the Steel Samurai, meaning that you killed Manny Cochin here at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for me to catch my flight. We're not through yet! It's game over for you, Mr. Redgeworth, but I thank you for the entertainment. <sighs> no matter how passionately you, or you orate, the end result will still be the same. I won't be returning to this country ever again. That's right. This man is an ambassador. And he has extraterritorial rights. No matter how hard we chase after him, we won't be able to have him tried in court. Yes, that's exactly the face you should be making. The face of a worthless cur. <laughs> now then, ladies and gentlemen, I must bid you farewell. <sighs> I... The courts... Is there no one who can lay a finger on this man? Is this really the end? Ooh. Oh! Oh! Agent Lang! Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Prosecutor. Get out of my way! My plane is scheduled to take off soon. Sorry, but you're not going anywhere, Mr. Alba. 
I'm through playing games with you people. You can't touch me. If you do, it would mark an international incident, Agent Lang. Sorry, but no, it wouldn't. What? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Good job on holding the fort down here till I got back. Hmm? So, Mr. Alba, your diplomatic immunity has just been revoked. What do you mean, revoked? Spare me this nonsense and let me through. Lang Ji says, before aiming for the throat, chew the neck of shield off first. Interpol headquarters and the Imperial household of the Kingdom of Alabast took a while to get things rolling, but they finally moved on it. The Imperial household? You... what have you done? You've been relieved of your duties as an ambassador, Mr. Alba. <laughs> what? Effective today? Effective right now. And you have Mr. Prosecutor's videotape your tank for this. The video that the Autogarasa protected? You can't be arrested simply because you're an ambassador? In that case, I thought I'd strip you of that title. You underestimated me, a descendant of the founder of the team and philosophy, Lang Ji. 4,000 years of deeply entrenched connections and networks around the world have really paid off. It can't be. I don't believe this. My ambassadorship has been revoked. <laughs> Looks like you're finally coming to grips with your new standing. Woohoo! Looks like he's turned docile again. He's probably in shock from the loss of his shield. <laughs> what a shame. I had so wanted to use my whip on him. Why is this happening to me? I'm just a hard-working, honest ambassador. Do you really think you can still pull that on us now? We've already ripped away the mask and seen you for who you really are. Mr. Alba? <laughs> no. I won't be stopped now. He still intends to fight us? So what if I am no longer ambassador? You still don't have any evidence on me. The fact remains that you cannot arrest me. Heh, <laughs> I'd expected no less from you, the boss of the smuggling ring. Well, the rest is up to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Understood. <laughs> you say that I killed Mr. Cochin in the theater, but even if that's true, that there was a knife in my bouquet, I left that bouquet in the theater, so anyone could have taken it out from there and used it, right? Besides, the claim that there, that he was killed here is itself is odd. After all, wasn't his body discovered in Babal? Are you claiming that I cl carried his body all the way over there? <laughs> preposterous. I'll be the one to prove whether it's preposterous or not. <laughs> Ex-Ambassador Elba, are you ready? Because this is no game. This is war. This is Sparta. <laughs> I killed Mr. Cochin in this theater using a knife that was stuck in my bouquet. I left that bouquet in the theater. Anyone could have taken the knife from there. Besides, Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? There was no way for me to have transported his body from the theater to Babal. Look, don't you think you've had enough fun with me? You've already stolen my ambassadorship from me. Would you have me surrender too? You have no plans to ever return to this country, isn't that right? Did you know that a bunch of your subordinates are seeking asylum because of you? <laughs> As if I care. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, boot this guy out of the embassy and we can finally end everything. I know, and I will give it my all to see that he leaves in handcuffs. Without the title of ambassador, he is just another witness. Yes, just another witness. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get this guy! And get him good! I wonder if they understand that all I can do is present evidence to the testimony. I can't kill the man. <laughs> and that is where we're gonna stop for this episode. Roll the end card. Objection! You haven't hit like and subscribe yet! Hold it! You forgot to ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload! Take that! Click
click here to watch more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!